Greetings, Internet Drinking Buddies. My name is Link, the show's name is Tubbin' and Chuggin', and on this episode, I'll be imbibing Tahoe Blue. Welcome back to the tub, everybody. Now, I've got myself a fun one here today, a blended vodka. You don't really see too many of those. I myself picked up a bottle of this this past ski season while I was up there in, in Tahoe, and I received another as a gift recently, so I figured it was time for a review. Such, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now, Tahoe Blue was founded by a man named Matt Levitt about a decade ago, who uh, apparently was so engrossed by the blue beauty of Lake Tahoe, he decided to make a vodka. I'll take you back somewhere in the high teens for a fifth, about buck twenty a drink. Runs at your typical 40% APV for a vodka, but obviously its key difference is the makeup. Tahoe Blue has 50% sugar cane, 25% grape, and 25% corn. So what do we make of a blended gluten-free vodka? Now, having had a bottle of it before, I think it's clear they intend you to drink it straight, although their website does have a number of cocktail recipes. Uh, I definitely recommend going with one of their own as opposed to a more traditional vodka cocktail, given its unique flavor profile. Um, but I do think the best option is gonna be to set this one straight. Which leads us naturally to the shot glass selection. Easy choice today, Lake Tahoe shot glass for Lake Tahoe vodka, match made in heaven. And with all that out of the way, let's get to the toast, which is also pretty easy. Keep Tahoe blue. Very interesting. Okay. I haven't had it in a bit. I'm just trying to recollect, recollect, whatever that word means. My kind of initial thought and taste versus this one. What I will say is that as a shot, I don't think it's all that great. Uh, you got a lot of competing flavors going on with this one. It almost feels like it wants to be a rum when it starts out. Got a, a heavy dose of sugar coming at you. Then it settles more, more kind of gracefully into that vodka profile, but the transition between the two is anything but graceful. So let me clarify what I meant there. Starts as rum, tries to become vodka. Both of those sections are good. Transition in between, not so much. Let's try sipping on it. Definitely smells like vodka. Yeah. Interesting. The the tastes are more subdued when you have less of it, obviously. Uh, and as a result, the, the transition isn't as jarring. Very, very sweet initial rum taste fading into a vodka taste. Ending as a vodka. Man, I don't understand why this guy didn't just make a rum. Yeah. Okay, one more. It lingers. It lingers too long. So, I think this profile, the flavor profile is, is very complex. Because it has these, these phases that I was describing. And as a result, it lasts for so long that it doesn't really feel like you're you're getting a good kind of experience because it's it's like a prolonged overall thing where you're just you're waiting too long and you feel like something should be happening and everything that's happening is like kind of okay but it's, it's like a bad vacation man you plan too many trips on one day and you got like five things you're trying to run to and you can't enjoy any of them even though they're all kind of cool you're just thinking about the next thing that you're doing and that's what this flavor profile is it's it's jumping around way too much for its own good. It needs to, to find its niche. I think the initial kind of sweet rum flavor that you get at it is the best flavor. The vodka, I could take or leave. Maybe that's because I don't like vodka all that much as you would probably know from some of my other videos, but it feels like it had an opportunity to be something 
and they went with the vodka blend when you could have gone with a rum blend you could have gone with just a straight rum i don't taste the corn at all but the corn must be what's getting to the vodka part of it i don't know man this is a weird product and it's kind of an expensive product it's you know what is it a dollar 20 per drink at that at that price point man like this this probably appeals to somebody this appeals to somebody that likes kind of a, a unique kind of twist on their their typical liquors they, they maybe the, the cocktails that they, they recommend for it are actually really good probably should have made one of them but it's not really what we do here we just we did we take shots um, and as a result it doesn't it doesn't appeal to me I'd like to know who it does appeal to because I'm sure they could give me a very good answer that's one of the things man I love I love it when somebody disagrees with me on a take like this. They're like, how could you not love this amazingly expensive vodka blend that I brought? I'm like, well, I don't. And then they tell me why, and I understand, you know? But this one, I'm just not quite sure what, what it is, what it is that makes this special, what it is that makes this expensive. It's not bad. I wanna get that very clear across. This is, you know, clearly a quality alcohol. I think it's just, it's a little too G4C for me on the taste. And I don't really know what to do with it or why it exists. Like if you just made vodka with Tahoe water, would that would that just be good? You know? If you just took Stoli, but you replaced the water with Tahoe water, would that would that be a better product? I don't know. I just don't know. So this is this is not something I can go out and heartily recommend at all, um, given its price and given that I don't really know what it is that, that makes it special. Uh, as a result, it is, you know, if it sounds intriguing to you, if what I've described sounds fun, uh, then, then pick it up, because it is what it is, and it's obviously, like, a clearly well-made product. I just, I don't think it's for me, and I don't know who it's for. So let me know in the comments if, if, if this is the product for you and why. I'd love to be, you know, told why. Um, but otherwise, recommend me anything else you think I should drink and review. And as always... Please drink responsibly.